The Blue Badge Scheme is a parking concession scheme which operates across the whole of the UK. It's designed to enable people who are unable or virtually unable to walk, or who are blind or sight impaired, or who have a cognitive impairment and can't travel safely and independently, to park close to where they work, study or shop, or to where they need to access essential services like doctors and hospitals. The Blue Badge Scheme is administered by your local authority and they're easy to apply for, or reapply for, online. The best place to start is the Welsh Government's website. There's lots of good, useful information here which you can download, including quick guides as to whether you're eligible or not. You may be automatically eligible, for example, if you receive the higher rate of the mobility component of the disability living allowance, or a war pensioner's mobility supplement, a blind or sight impaired. You may find that you do not qualify automatically, but cannot walk or have considerable difficulty walking, for example. In such cases, you will need to provide your local authority with evidence to show your level of difficulty. There are many other circumstances which might affect you that would mean you are eligible and which you can check with your local authority. Once you're ready to apply, you'll need to go to a different website, the direct.gov website. Click on the Start Now link and you'll go through to a new window where you can tell us whether you're applying for yourself or on behalf of a family member or someone you care for. Tell us which local authority area you live in and you will go through to a screen with a number of options. These list the ways in which you will automatically be eligible for a blue badge. Select one if it applies to you. You'll see that you are eligible for a blue badge without further assessment if you can provide evidence of your benefit entitlement and proof of your identity and residency. Confirm that you want to apply online as you'll see a page of helpful notes and guidance. Click Next and you come to a screen which asks a straightforward series of questions about information we need from you. If you don't automatically qualify under any of the criteria listed, don't worry, you may still be eligible. Just click on None of the above apply and press Next. You'll find another list of circumstances which might apply to you. Click on the one that applies to you and you'll see that you may be eligible for a blue badge. If you want to go ahead and apply, click Yes and complete the online application form. Once your local authority has considered the information you have given, they will get in touch and may have some other questions or ask for evidence to support your application. If your condition isn't listed, you're unlikely to qualify for a blue badge, but if you still think you might, contact your local authority and discuss it with them. They'll provide the relevant advice. So that's it, you're done. If you meet the eligibility criteria, then your badge should arrive within a couple of weeks and you can start using it straight away. We hope it helps give you a new lease of life, but please bear in mind the blue badge comes with responsibilities. It's down to you to use it properly. Help us to make sure the scheme is not abused, because that will hit genuine badge holders, people like you. The badge and its concessions are for you and you only. It must only be displayed if you are travelling in the vehicle as a driver or passenger. Don't allow other people to use the badge to do something on your behalf, such as shopping or collecting something for you, unless you are travelling with them. And never give the badge to friends or family to allow them to park for free, even if they are visiting you and don't allow non-eligible people to take advantage of the benefits from your badge while you sit in the car. It is a criminal offence for you or anyone else to misuse the badge and doing so could lead to prosecution, removal of the badge and a £1,000 fine.